Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. So in this video we are going to talk about file that write all bytes. Uh, this is a function that allows us to write a list of bytes uh, to a specific file that we provide the path to. I've uh, initialized quite a bit of stuff here. So let's go to them and see what we got. Uh, so here I have a path to a PDF file, uh, which is here. I have a path to an image file, which is code.jpg right here. And I have a path to a program file, which is just a C++ file that uh, I've done that just prints hello. And this is the code for that, by the way. Very simple. So let's go back to program.cs. And these paths right here, this is where I would want the, the copies or you know the copies of these files to go so I have a function here that's uh, that will read uh, the bytes from a file and this follows the patterns that we've used before uh, it's called file that re read all bytes from file uh, you give it a path I initialized uh, an empty uh, byte array here uh, I fill it by reading all bytes from the file. Uh, if there's a problem, we catch the exception and we store the message. Then we return bytes uh, that we've read from the file. Now what we are going to do is write a function that will write those bytes to the path that we're providing. So let's get right to that. And as always, we're going to put that inside a trackouts block. Okay, so exception. And we want to print that. Right line. that message okay now what do we want to try we want to write all bytes so we have some bytes oh, essentially all we need to do here is just to file that write all bytes and we're gonna write these bytes to the path oh, what name did I give it I give it another name. Yep, I gave it the name of file. And then we're just going to write the bytes. Simple as that. So as long as you provide a valid valid file path and the bytes, uh, all you have, uh, it all should work. So first of all, let's call our functions. Let's get the bytes. And uh, the function we have is read all bytes from file. And first, let's do the PDF file. Let's do path. Okay, now we have the bytes. And next is, let's call write all bytes to file. And we want to write the a PDF file to write PDF, write PDF to, and then we want to pass that the bytes. Right. That should write the PDF to that same folder of the other PDF. Take a bit of time, but there it is. And that's a PDF file. Uh, let me show you what uh, the PDF file looks like. That's uh, the first file. That's not the copied one. And let's look at the copied one. Let's look for it in Finder. And here we go. So here are the two PDF files. And all we've done is just get the bytes from this file and put them in that one. So let's go back to our program. 
So we can do the same thing for the image. So all we'd have to do here is just pass in the image path here. And we want to write that to the right image. Right image two, and we pass the bytes. So what we expect here is to have the image uh, pop up in this directory right here. Mm -hmm. It's a really large image actually. Well, it happened fast. Okay, open image in an external program. And this is the image. And we can actually see what the other image was. And there it is right here. So this is code.jpg and this is uh, code copy.jpg. So, and again, all we've done is get the bytes from one image and put them in, in another image, in another file. Now, before we do this for the program, let's just run it and see what we got. Okay, so this is in programs. Program slash a that out. So let's run it. So it's just printing a hello world. So let's uh, let's see if we can just rewrite it to get the program. All right, let's. That's the prog path. And then we want to write it at write prog two. Okay, so let's run the program again. All right, here's B that out. It's a binary file, so let's try and run that. Hello world. It's not interesting. So, with uh, the write all bytes function, what you can do is just get the binary binary content of a specific file and then move it to another and or if somehow you were generating binary information uh, uh, through your program and any file remember computer store stuff in binary so any file that uh, you have stored in a computer is binary data so you can always just grab the binary data and then do whatever you want with it or save it somewhere else or whatever so this was this tutorial uh, if you have any questions just send them my way subscribe if you like and uh, hit the like button if you like it all right thanks